my channel i'm here with another fragrance video as you can tell i love fragrances however today i'm gonna actually be going through five fragrances that are perfect for winter so if that is of interest to you please stick around make sure you subscribe and don't forget to click on the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos the first perfume is this. This is Giorgio Armani C. This is a new perfume of mine that I purchased a few weeks ago and I can never do without it. I always have it. This is like my sixth bottle. I've had the 30 ml, I've had the 50 ml. I always, always have this perfume. It smells amazing. Now, C is definitely a perfume that I personally wear in the winter months, although it's quite fresh and feminine. If you guys watch TV, this always comes on around November, December time. It's a really great gift. Oh, it smells so sophisticated, so beautiful. In terms of notes, the notes in this perfume, you've got black currant, you have rose patchouli, you have musky white woods, and you have liquor so those are the notes in this perfume i absolutely adore this perfume when it sits on your skin it becomes very warm very rich it's a very feminine smell and you will always get compliments wearing this whenever i wear c i always 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 get compliments but i absolutely love the simplicity of this bottle but this has to be one of my favorite perfumes not just for fall but for any season i have nothing more to say about this it's just a fantastic perfume if you're looking for gift ideas or if you want to treat yourself i would definitely give c a go in terms of price i believe this is about 76 pounds if i am wrong i'll put the price somewhere in the video but that is the first perfume the second perfume that is absolutely fantastic for winter is Black Opium by YSL. So many people either love it or hate it. And if you are a perfume connoisseur, which is something that I am not, I am not a perfume connoisseur, but I do like fragrances. And this is like low, the bottom of fragrances because there's so many lovely perfumes out there. And this is just quite basic. But if you are new to perfume like how I was um, and you want something very festive this is definitely the way to go this smells just like warm chocolate and coffee mixed together i only wear this in winter because it's very very warm sometimes it can get a little sickening um however it's a very beautiful fragrance in terms of notes this perfume has i'm just gonna get my phone because <laughs> i can't remember all the notes in this perfume the top notes are pink pepper pear and orange blossom the middle notes are coffee jasmine and bitter almond and then the base notes are vanilla patchouli cedarwood and cashmere so again very sweet a lot of the fragrances that i like have vanilla in it patchouli and cedarwood i always tend to gravitate towards perfumes with those particular notes um however this perfume isn't anything that um will turn heads it's just a standard perfume if you are not into perfumes um and you smell this you will really like this however the more you start to widen your horizon you you will see that this perfume is quite basic a good time to buy this perfume is around christmas um also mother's day this perfume tends to go down and in terms of price range i would say this is around the 50 to 60 mark i'm gonna come closer so you guys can see it's such a oh, it's such a nice bottle as well um i always have this in my collection as well i i always say yeah i'm over it but then when i don't have it i'm like oh, i need to buy it so definitely if you're looking for a winter perfume i would definitely recommend buying myself black opium yes how can i not mention alien alien is just bay I haven't actually sprayed this for a very long time. Oh, not many people like it. Another one that people don't like from Terry McLear is, um, what is it? I can't remember, but people, I think it's the star. I don't know, it's in the star shape. And again, people have a love and hate 
relationship with that perfume. I absolutely adore Alien. However, I only wear Alien at night. I can't even wear it on a cold winter's day. It has to be at night. Um, as you can see, I still have some left. And this particular one is in the 60 mil. This is quite expensive. You can never get this for under like 40 pounds. It's always like 60 and above. I can't remember how much I paid for this, but again, I'll make sure I include it in the video. But I remember that I bought this from John Lewis um, last year, but I just didn't get around to using it for some reason. But it's definitely one that I'm gonna try and use up. People that wear Alien always wear Alien. So this perfume has um, white floral, jasmine, amber and woodsy musk this is a gift given time obviously so you will find a lot of perfumes now being put together with lotions and shower gels because it, it does make a good gift but alien has to be again another favorite of mine because it's just a really nice winter smell that's the third perfume that i would recommend you buying for the four months so the fourth perfume is this one and this one is Tom Ford Velvet Orchid. Ah, oh, this smells incredible. This is my second bottle, I believe. This retails for about 110, 105 pounds. It does take quite a while to finish. I am now halfway. This is such a lovely sweet perfume. It's quite heavy as well, which is perfect for the winter months. I'm not a Tom Ford fan. Although I have Tom Ford perfumes, I'm not a Tom Ford fan. However, when I put it on myself and let it sit for a few hours, I tend to really like it. I, I even ask myself, I'm like, did I spray that? In terms of notes, I will get my phone. I'm not gonna pretend that I know all the notes, but I do know that there's vanilla in this and I do know that there's saddlewood in this. This perfume was launched in 2014, so not too long ago. The top notes are rum, honey, mandarin, orange, bergamot. Middle notes are black orchid, jasmine, rose oil, orange blossom, and magnolia. And the base notes are vanilla, suede, and saddlewood. There's there's more notes in this, but I'm not reading all of that. All the notes will be in the description box. Now I have worn this to work um like once. And when I wore it to work, my colleague, her name is called Jen, she was like, You smell incredible. And I was like, Yeah, I have Tom Ford on. I had to check myself because I was like, why the hell am I wearing Tom Ford to work? So that's the fourth perfume that I would recommend. So this one here is um, Tobacco Vanille. And I've mentioned this on my channel before. I wasn't a fan of it at all. However, when this sits on your skin for a few hours, it's nice. I can admit, I, I will admit when I'm wrong, I was wrong about this perfume. I purchased this perfume at the start or middle of the first lockdown. It was like going, to, it was basically summer and um, I bought this and I hated it because it was just so strong and it just felt very sticky and it, it just wasn't nice. And now that it's getting colder, I have been, you know, spraying it here and there. It is a very nice perfume. You will turn heads wearing this as well. I think, although I don't like Tom Ford, it does turn heads. Like if you want a perfume to turn heads, Tom Ford is the perfume you need. I'm not gonna spray it because I'm gonna die. <laughs> it is a pricey perfume. I believe this retails for 250 pounds or so, or maybe even more. I ain't gonna lie and pretend that I know the notes. I just know that it's got tobacco and it's got a vanilla. <laughs> It says here that the top notes are tobacco leaf and spicy notes, middle notes are vanilla, tonka bean and tobacco, and then base notes are dried fruits and woody notes. I am bringing you closer. So as I mentioned, I would definitely recommend um, buying one of these perfumes, um, especially if you wanna, you know, gift someone or you just want a perfume to try out. Out of the perfumes that I mentioned in today's video, my favorite has to be C. You cannot go wrong with C, it's my favorite, and also it can be worn all year round, whereas the remaining four perfumes Teams it's a hit and miss i'll definitely stick to wearing it in the colder months thank you so much for watching my video guys i hope you liked it i'm gonna actually do a video on cheap oud perfume i'm gonna buy some oud perfume from amazon and i'm gonna review them so stay tuned if you want to see that video thank you so much for watching make sure you subscribe to my channel and i'll see you in my next one bye